This video is about filters. In this system, the water originates through the blue valve and goes into the filter, the large black cylinder. It passes through the filter and goes up to the solenoid, which is the black cylinder at the top, and goes forward through the vacuum breaker, the blue area in the front, and down through the black and white pressure regulator. It's important when you look at a filter to look for the arrow on the filter as this is the way it will tell you what direction to install the filter and it often doesn't look the right way until you look for the arrow. Here's the blue valve again. It's a type of valve called a ball valve. It shears off any of the material that might accumulate inside the valve itself. After the ball valve, it goes to the filter. Here's a ball valve. Another type in the closed position and now in the open position to flush dirt off the filter. And now closed. Here is a Netafim filter with a 140 mesh, which is equal to 100 microns. This is pretty good for city water, but you could even get better with a 200 mesh screen that is equal to 75 microns. Regardless of the mesh, get a metal screen like the one on the right, not a plastic screen like the one on the left, and you'll be way ahead of the game. A Netafim filter can take the pressure of the household water, but sometimes the agricultural product one does not. But my favorite is the Amiod, really sturdy body and can take the 40 to 60 psi of normal household water without breaking. It can be under full pressure all the time and function quite well. We're back to the main assembly with the blue ball valve where the water originates, the filter, and then four uh, solenoids that have black cylinders followed by the blue area that is the atmospheric vacuum breaker, and then the Senninger pressure regulators. I hope you enjoyed this in spite of my shaky hands from too much coffee.